Hello friends, this is Seth of the Sickness LPs here to welcome you back to the finale of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. In the last episode, who the hell cares? This is the finale. Uh, you could assume that we did everything else in the game, I'm pretty sure. And in this episode, we are going to take on the final boss, which I have guessed or postulated, as I will say, because I must have very eloquent words in this finale, will probably be a green laser shooting, honey color, honey colored, yes, honey covered thief of the mouth ethnicity, mouse ethnicity. That does not roll off the tongue. But it will be a mouse just because this game hates me. Totally. That's that's why it glitches out. So you have anything to say, Mr. Drunk Dragon? Um, apparently not. Okay, fine. Be 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 drunk and sleeping and stuff when we need you. We need advice. I don't know what to do. Ah, I guess we're going in here. Yes, this place has become a portal. It used to be just this random ring with grass in it, but apparently that is not a thing anymore because the more slaves you get, the bigger holes they dig. And also, the more portals they make? I don't know, if this were Minecraft, I would have put them to good work on mining some obsidian, apparently. Which would imply that we are going to hell. I don't know. So I've I've actually this is actually blind. The finale, the final boss is going to be totally blind. I've never played it before. So the suspense is somewhat killing me, which is bad because you kind of don't want to die on the final boss. So, you know, dying of suspense would not be good. So I'll just jump right in. Let us do this. Let us play the final boss of all. Oh, custom loading screen thingy with purpleness to match Spyro. Good omens right here. You are not what I was expecting, buddy. You don't even look like a mouse. Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. Racist. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Genocidal racist. Hocus pocus. Really? Really? That's all you got? Friggin' wannabe short unicorn? Short wannabe unicorn. Yeah, that's all he's got. Hocus Pocus. And whoa, okay, those bubbles are aggressive. All right, I suppose this is the final boss. Let's go. Hey, they give you little frogs to replenish your ow. I guess I'll need those frogs to... Ow? I'll seriously need those frogs to replenish my health. What is wrong with... He didn't even lose the bubbles. I could have sworn he threw all his... All, of, all his bubbles. I don't know how to talk anymore, but I don't care because it's the finale and I don't have to talk. Wait, first I was saying I need to talk more eloquently in the finale. Now I'm saying I don't have to talk in the finale. Yes, this will be a mute finale, because I am practicing my miming skills, because you can totally... That's the point of a mime, you know. Ow. Alright, so I... Actually, I died. Actually, I died. Okay. Let's see. Alright. This is a bit overwhelming, but I now clearly, more clearly, see that it is ice. They are ice balls. They are not bubbles. This is not Pokemon logic where bubbles can hurt. Therefore, I must attack him with fire. I would have thought, but apparently not. Ow. Do it. What, my fire can't melt your ice? Okay, let's use this game's logic. Ice destroys ice. I'd love if it actually worked. That'd be... Okay, that didn't quite work out. Ah, where are you, buddy? I, now I can't even see you. <laughs> it would have would have been funny if it just appeared in the arena and he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Alright, so I guess there's no real other way to go about this other than to dodge. Spyro, when I say this, ow, Spyro, that, that is so glitchy, and by glitchy, I mean not cool. Anywho, continue dodging the ice balls, now he'll start throwing his waves of waviness. They're not waves, technically, because it's ice and homing, you can't home in on me. Whatever, I'm still alive. I can kill a frog and replenish myself. Uh, okay, it makes sense that Sparks would eat the insides of the frogs to, you know, get back to how, ow. I could have used the frog right there. But seriously, why does Sparks just reappear when you eat a frog and he wasn't there? He just, like, comes back to life. Yes, I think Sparks is secretly a frog, and when you poke the frog in your the butt with your secret syringe horns, you inject it with something that converts it into a dragonfly, which we then call Sparks. It's genius. That is not genius, Spyro. That is double not genius, Spyro. You suck. 
farming toads that aren't actually toads. Come to think of it, they actually have antennas, so maybe they are dragonflies in disguise. Totally makes sense. I was not just making that up earlier. Alright, so I guess I'm going to take a more direct approach. I'm going to wait for his wave of stuff to be done. Then I'm just going to go in for the kill. Like, like that. And hope that that actually did something. Doesn't look like it did much, but then again, his shield of ice seems to be wavering a bit. To an extent, so it could be that that's all you have to do. And if it is, I am seriously stupid. The question is, ow! The question is, can you not get hit? Jeez, where are the frogs? Where are the frogs, Spyro? Where's the frogs? There are no more frogs. Stupid Spyro, you used all, you're all your frogs. You don't do that. You don't just use up all the frogs. What if, what if other, what if, what if children in need need the frogs? Because, oh, yeah, the, the shield is definitely wavering as of lowering it, because that makes sense. Uh, alright. It's get, they're getting smaller and smaller, though. So please don't tell me that makes them faster and faster. Or more homier and more home, more homier, yes. Well, technically, if you take homier from the actual sense of the word, that would be better for me, considering... It'd be homey, yeah, you know it'd be homey. There's lots of- well, it is kind of more spaced out, so haha, I did use the word homey right. Oh, unless I'm a gangster, in which case, homey, yeah. Are you kidding me? Death combo, no, death- aw. Oh. Alright, this is how we do it. Don't even give him a time to attack, just run after him and combo break. And combo break. Well, we don't want to break. Because the game broke at this point. Yeah. Come to think of it. I've been wanting to mention that. Guess what day I'm recording this on. As if it wasn't sadistic enough of me to do the final boss blind. This is Friday the 13th. So yes, anything could happen, guys. Ugh, but seriously, that is not something that I would like to happen. Despite the fact that anything could indeed happen. I would like... No! You cannot. I will, I will lower your size... Of beads, okay. I'm not gonna be able to get over there at this time. So, toim, toim, toim. The ocarina of toim. Can you imagine if it was the ocarina of. No, crap! No! Pro tip let him push you into him like that. Yeah. Ah, no. I mustn't die now, Spyro. I will get you. you, you, you look at how small your balls are. With that kind of shrinkage, you should be done by now. I'm okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. Ugh. Is he, is he? No, he will not destroy me. Okay, apparently he will. Alright, wait. Did I get him? No. Crap. Ow, yeah, you better get hurt, buddy. You're going down. Wait, he can still shoot Ipe. You can't still shoot Ipe, small. Ipes balls? Yeah, you, you can't do that. One does not simply still shoot Ipes balls. Die. Wait, are you dead? Are you dead? Please? Please? Ah, defeated again. I'll be back. And you'll be sorry. You'll be very, very sorry. The magic of dragons can't last forever, can it? I don't know, but apparently I beat you. Was that it? Was that it? Well, that, that wasn't so hard, says the guy who died like 50 times. Alrighty then. Wait, 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 wait. It can't, it can't already be over. It can't already be over. I do not believe it's already over. Nope, I am pretty sure that if you go back, because I think uh, you can go start the final boss after a certain number of dragonflies has been obtained, but if you go back afterwards, you can continue into not going anywhere. See, I thought that's what happened. I was apparently wrong. I always knew you were the real fight.
I always knew, I say at a safe distance as you can't shoot me down, that you were the final boss all along. Prepare to meet your maker, vile fiend! Crap, there's more of them! You... You must be the true face of all evil I've been sent to vanquish. This is the true final battle! Ah! This is a climactic final battle. Ah! I will keep making this scream because this is a final battle. Ah! Screams like this make things dramatic. Ah! Ask, I don't know, Dragon Ball Z or something. Ah! Get the hell back here! I need to poke you in the bum. Ah! No credits roll. Jesus! There's no way that wasn't the final battle. You. I had my suspicions when I first met you, but I know now that you are the final bossy figure that must be vanquished towards completion of the game, Spiral. You look way too bored. This is supposed to be a very climactic point in your own series. Die! Ah, ah, ah. It appears he is a formidable foe. He cannot be vanquished by simply using fire. I must try freezing him. Except, he does not shatter to pieces when I tackle his frozen body like most do. I must try electricity. And it just thaws him out because that is what electricity does. I will catch him like a dragonfly. That's it. No. I can't even kill this guy. So where is the real final boss of Spyro into the dragonfly? Could it be that sheep? I don't believe it is that sheep, because if I just burn this sheep in the butt once, it dies. Which in a way is what happened to Ripto, so I suppose that it, it might as well be the sheep. But at least Ripto had this giant ice shield of friggin' annoyingness. So, the truth is, this portal is supposed to be open, but it is not. And the reason it is not is that I am only 84% done the game, technically, because the gems do factor into how far you are into the game. I had to look this up. I wanted it to be completely blind, but I had to look up how to actually get to the other stages, because I already had an idea there were other stages to the Ripto fight. Apparently I can't do that, because I am 84%. So it seems that, to end off this rather disappointing finale, the game has reserved for us, or for me, its own giant April Fool's joke because it led me to believe that I could beat it with only the dragonflies but that was wrong it's in fact it's the dragonflies fault my own slaves pulled an April Fool's joke on me now that they have been put in their place I'm just kidding I suppose that I will not be able to continue on until after the Spyro Enter the Dragonfly livestream in which I get all the gems. So after I get all the gems, I will go back to the actual final boss and complete every stage the way it was intended to be fought as the true final battle. Until then, I guess I will have to leave you on that note. So this was in reality just a finale part one, because as misfortune that could only possibly be attributed to the fact of this being recorded on Friday the 13th would have it, I goofed. And I should never have done this blind because I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So on that note, I will leave you with another dead sheep. Or you could look at it as a less sadistic way of seeing it, where you are basically getting free cooked lamb. Either way, pretty great stuff. Your cooked lamb is soggy though, because it fell in the water. I will see you guys next time in part two of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, the two-part finale.